Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Gonna do a little bit more controversy, something to think about, and something I don't have a complete answer on. So, here's to stirring up thinking and stirring up ideas. Deuteronomy chapter 25, verse 5, and quite a few verses here. If brothers dwell together, and one of them dies and has no son, the widow of the dead man shall not be married to a stranger outside the family. Her husband's brother shall go into her, take her as his wife, and perform the duty of a husband's brother to her. And it shall be that the firstborn son which she bears will succeed to the name of his dead brother, that his name may not be blotted out of Israel. But if the man does not want to take his brother's wife, then let his brother's wife go up to the gate to the elders and say, My husband's brother refuses to raise up a name to his brother in Israel. He will not perform the duty of my husband's brother. Then the elders of his city shall call him and speak to him. But if he stands firm and says, I do not want to take her, then his brother's wife shall come to him in the presence of the elders, remove his sandal from his foot, spit in his face, and answer and say, So shall it be done to the man who will not build up his brother's house. And his name shall be called in Israel the house of him who had his sandal removed. Now that is clear-cut polygamy. Enforced endorsed and commanded by the Lord Almighty. And in the New Testament, we see something radically different in 1 Timothy, where an elder of the church is not permitted to have but one wife. Google it. Um, also, if you want to invest a little bit, Google's a pretty good resource, so you probably don't need to do it. I just, I'm a little old school, I like to do this. Get a Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. That's for the King James Version. Or if you wanted to go with I'm sure there are exhaustive concordances for other biblical versions, whichever one you read. Not all, but many have exhaustive concordances at this point. Or again, Google. Anyway, the New Testament is pretty explicitly clear. You can't even be a leader in the church if you have more than one wife. And Jesus, when he said in the Gospels that in heaven there won't be marriage or given, giving in marriage, we shall be like the angels, and has it not been from the beginning, a man shall leave his mother and father and be joined to his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. And when God has put together, let not man separate. Everything in the New Testament seems to indicate monogamy. So the thought here, of course, you know, you could easily say, well, the Bible's just contradicting itself and wrong. That's an easy answer. And I don't believe that. I believe there is an answer from Paul the Pharisee who knew the Bible backwards and forwards, but converted to Jesus Christ and then saw the law in a completely different light. And Jesus himself also said, I have not come to abolish the law and the prophets, I have come to fulfill them. Google all of these things that I'm saying. See if what I've said is in the Bible or not, and if I'm quoting it correctly or not. It seems to me that the Old Testament carried an idea that was attempting to be just and fair, but it wasn't always necessarily God's ideal. It wasn't like, kind of like back to the thing on slavery I said a few days ago. It's better without slavery. Um, read the book of Philemon, if you don't believe me. It is better without slavery, yet in the Old Testament it was, it was allowed and there were rules given to have slaves. It seems that a lot of the law has been fulfilled and taken out of the picture so that the New Testament doesn't contradict it the God of the Old Testament wasn't this barbarous, brutal guy. Rather, God has taken steps throughout history in his relationship with mankind, and he's slowly moving us towards the ideal, the covenant of grace in Jesus Christ, the New Testament, being one more of those steps. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Again, this is a talking point. I don't have all the answers, but that's my take on it. So that's about it for now. Love you guys. God bless.